In this Croatia travel vlog, we'll discover five amazing things to do on Hvar Island and prove that Hvar is more than just a party destination. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And we're coming to you from Hvar, Croatia. In late 2019, we quit our jobs, packed up our lives and set out from Australia to live out our bucket list dream to travel to 100 countries. After 18 months stuck in Nicaragua due to the COVID pandemic, we're now back on the road. Our travels have taken us through Central America, the USA and Europe, and we're currently exploring our 45th country, Croatia. Hvar is the premier Croatian island destination and a getaway for the rich and famous. It's not hard to see why. The picture-perfect island is home to a charming fairy tale style town surrounded by impossibly turquoise water. It's also blessed with the most sunny days in all of Croatia. We quickly fell in love with this mesmerizing destination. Whether it's the stunning Hvar beaches or delicious Croatian food, you will quickly find that Hvar Island has something for everyone. Keep watching for more of our Hvar Croatia travel guide. Hvar Old Town is the perfect spot for a coffee, long lunch or just a bit of people watching. Being on an island, you have to try the seafood in Hvar. Hvar is home to a large number of excellent restaurants ready to cook you the perfect meal. We're in Grande Luna Hvar and we're going to try out some of the delicious local cuisine. When in Hvar, you have to try some seafood. Here is an octopus salad, which is one of the must-try dishes in Hvar. This was a hundred kuna. It's a beautiful rooftop terrace here as well, which I really like. So this looks really colourful. Um, we've got some little squeezes of lemon on top as well. I can see papers and tomato and of course the octopus and then some black olives as well and it's all on a bed of lettuce. So this looks really fresh and vibrant. Mm. Yeah, this is really tasty. So you've got the freshness of the tomato, the capers give it a bit of a burst of saltiness and that octopus is so fresh. This is delicious. Lunch for me is a grigada, which is a fish stew that's local to the island of Hvar. So apparently it was introduced by the Greeks, which is where the grigada name comes from. And this looks really interesting. It's basically a whole fish chopped up and there's potato in there and Bunch of herbs and spices, so this looks really interesting. I don't know what type of fish this is, but it's very tasty. Yeah, so it's got a very clean taste. It's not, it's not fishy at all. That, you know that fishy taste that you sometimes get like, with anchovies or sardines. It's not that at all. It's very clean. This is a whole lot of fish, so. If you'll excuse me, I've got a fish to tuck into. Hvar is home to some breathtaking beaches. Most of the beaches on the island of Hvar are pebble beaches. This can be a bit hard on your feet, but provides the perfect opportunity for practicing skimming rocks across the water. All the beaches along the coastline of Hvar are so pretty, and today we're going to explore them. We've arrived at the Pakonia Dole Beach, uh, which is about a half an hour walk from the centre of town in Hvar. Just look at it, it looks so amazing. It's a pebble stone beach and the colour of the water is just mesmerising. Amazing turquoise blues, I'm really looking forward to going for a swim. Now, it is April, so the water's still a little bit cold, but the big benefit is that you've basically got the beach to yourself. So. I'm looking forward to getting wet. Let's see how I go. What I think is pretty cool in Croatia is that you've got these little makeshift change rooms. So I'll just take you around. Hopefully there's no one in here because that could be quite awkward. And you just go inside and get changed. So if you'll just excuse me, I've got to make a change. perfect place for a lazy afternoon. It's been a little bit fresh 
But once you get used to the temperature, it's pretty nice. And it's really nice just lounging out now, and it's probably around, uh, around 20 degrees, so it's just right. No wind. It's just a beautiful afternoon here on Havar Island. There are a couple more beaches beyond Polonia Beach. However, they're a bit smaller, and I guess the sea's a little bit rougher. So your best bet in Havar is probably going to the Polonia Beach. Uh, right behind us is Robinson Beach and it's, it's a pretty small beach, it's quite nice, there's obviously not as many people around. There's a restaurant here as well which looks alright. Yeah. We found that the best beaches in Havar are on the Pekleni Islands. We'll be exploring these later on in the video so keep watching. But what is really cool is the really nice walk or trek along the coastline, it's really pretty. So. You know, if you like hiking, then definitely go for a hike along the, the coast here in Havar. Havar has so much natural beauty to explore and it is perfect for those who love hiking. The scenic hiking trail along the coastline on the way to Mekichivitsa Beach and Robertson Beach is a must-do in Havar. Another must-do hike takes you up to the Spanish Fortress. It's a walk of moderate difficulty which takes around 30 minutes to do. At the top you are rewarded with great views over the old town. If you're looking for a tougher hike, consider climbing further up to the Napoleon Fort, like we did. Well, we wouldn't recommend doing exactly what we did, as you'll soon find out. Okay, we found a potential way up to the Napoleon Fort. Uh, it isn't what we had planned, but let's give it a go anyway. It's a glorious day, so when we finally get to the top, I'm sure the views are going to be amazing. Okay, we've now lost the path and we're doing a little bit of bush bashing. However, the scenery is looking pretty awesome right now. Well, I wasn't expecting to bush bash this much, but it's an adventure. Looks like we're back on some sort of path. Now to the fort. If you decide to do the crazy route like us, just make sure you look out for these red dots. So they are scattered around the trail. We lost them obviously, but we found them again. So we finally made it to the top and we have been rewarded by these amazing views over the harbour here of Var. Oh, it's just spectacular. And it took us the best part of two hours to get up here, however, we did take the scenic route, so it's probably around an hour if you take the road, and we recommend you take the road. Well, we don't learn from our mistakes, so we're going to attempt the trailhead going down, and hopefully we don't lose the path this time. Out. The path was well marked, it had the red dots everywhere, you didn't have to do any bush bashing, so uh, when you are planning to go to Napoleon Fort, make sure you come this way. The Puklini Islands are a must visit destination on Havar. A round trip from Havar to the islands via water taxi costs 50 kunas or 7 euros per person. Another way to explore the islands at your own pace is to take a kayak for the day. Okay, we're starting off our day. Um, we're about to go kayaking in Havar, Croatia. Oh, it's such a glorious day for it as well. Calm seas, no wind. It's the sun be is out. Yeah, it's beautiful. We got our kayaks from Kayak and Sup here on Havar. So we've been told the lay of the land, what islands to go to. It's probably going to be about half an hour kayak from here to the first island. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. There are going to be some amazing beaches and we're, we're taking the kayak for the full day, so from 10 till 6. Okay, off we go. We 
we've arrived at Malini Beach. It is so pretty. And we've got it all to ourselves. I just love the colour of the water here. It's just so beautiful. And it's really peaceful on the water today. Well, we've made it to our first stop and it is absolutely beautiful. We're the only ones on the beach here and we've just got this paradise to ourselves. If Purple Beaches aren't your thing, then perhaps Parmesana Beach will be more to your liking. It's a sandy beach, so if you don't like the pebbles on your feet, then this is a perfect beach to come to. And it looks so pretty. Now here's a daring bucket list item, swimming at a nude beach. Gerald and Beach Havar, also one of the Paklani Islands, is home to one of the best naturalist beaches in Europe, as declared by CNN. It's a beautiful afternoon and I'm looking forward to getting in the water. Now we heard that the number one naturalist beach is just around the corner here at one of the islands near Havar, so we're going to check it out. Now this will be the first time that I get my kid off at a nudist beach. We have been to Japanese onsen, but that's only single sex, so not mixed. So this will be a little bit different. I'm kind of hoping that there's no one else on the beach, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we've reached what I believe is the nudist beach. Now, there is a boat with clothed people just off the beach, so we, we're potentially going to have an audience, which I'm not too thrilled about, but what can you do? To nude or not to nude, that is the question. So, we've got an audience there. Uh, I think screw it, let's give him a show. Whew. So I've done it. It's a bit fresh. Now, what do you think about this? Uh, a ship docking in a nude beach area. Fully clothed. Fully clothed. Do you think that's a little bit strange? Let us know in the comments. This feels quite liberating. Ready to go for a swim? Psyching myself up, but I think I'm ready. So, I've got an audience, so I can't disappoint. Funnily enough, it would have been better if there were more other naked people here as a bit of social conditioning, but I've been to boarding school. It's okay, I'm, I'm cool with my body, so who cares? Well, I'm looking forward to Jay taking the plunge, so to speak. It's a little bit comical in a way. Just as Jay gets the courage to get a gear off, more people come. <laughs> so hopefully they get stuck as, as well, just to normalize things a little bit more. Fingers crossed. How do you feel, Jay? Uh, it is beautiful in the water. And yeah, I just feel so liberated. We've got the sun beating down on us and it's just a beautiful day to be out in the water and out in our full glory. So how do I rate getting naked on a nude beach? I give it four and a half buckets out of five. There was an extra difficulty factor of getting naked in front of other people who weren't naked, but we managed to overcome that challenge. So if you're looking for something to get yourself out of your comfort zone, then we highly recommend doing it. We hope you've enjoyed our Havar guide. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment. In our next video, we're going to visit the beautiful Croatian island of Korčula. If you're interested in more content like this, then subscribe to join us on our bucket list journey around the world. We are bucket list travelers. See you next time.